There is a challenge facing the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs in bringing students to the city, and that challenge is accommodation. Minister Valerie Coveda Lowe spoke with Gina about the ministry's plan to solve the problem. We're looking for a consultant to design another dormitory, and that dormitory will be for GTI students and UG students. We haven't decided on what structure the system will take yet, but at least the building will go up and they know that they will have somewhere to stay. Students also have another big problem, and that is mathematics. How does the Ministry of Indigenous People Affairs plan to deal with this problem? Minister Lu said, The thing to do is that very soon getting some of my young friends who um, left UG and will have time in um, August, so let us form a little uh, organization and call ourselves something, uh, Hinterland Map Tutors or whatever, you know, just to go up there for August to teach them math, okay. even for one month or three we weeks or so. Minister Lu also wants the indigenous language to be taught in schools as an academic subject because it can solve the mathematics problems faced by the Amerindians. Just like how you choose to take Spanish That's right. and um, Portuguese and French and German, we should have indigenous languages like that so that you can you can decide that you want to learn Patamona or you want to learn Wapishana. So when you go into there, you could speak to them and they would understand you so well. Twelve months ago, the government has paid much careful attention to the development of indigenous people, especially the youths. The Billion Dollar Haynes project was developed to train and develop young people in Amerindian communities to empower themselves. Rihanna, back to you.